morning youtube halloween hunters here and it's time to get to work so i'm gonna be cleaning off my table here organizing it we got the brand new gasket kit i also found my old gasket kit so i got some extras in there make sure to use those first but um it's time to tear it down so i might drop off the trans today and some other parts but first things first i'm going to clean up this bench I'm going to try to find my tripod so I can set you guys up to watch the disassembly. We're not doing a full disassembly, like I said. Like, the whole front timing part, part of the motor is going to stay. Crankshaft is going to stay. Camshaft is going to stay. Uh, but the heads are coming off. These rockers are coming off. Push rods. Um, all that's coming off. Intake's coming off. So... Uh, I got that good heavy degreaser. So before we tear it down, I'm going to bring this thing outside. I'm going to hit it with the degreaser and shoot it with the power washer to help clean a bunch of the grease out. And we'll keep tearing it down. Alrighty, so I found the tripod finally. Um, first part of this is we need to take off. Uh, we could either do the rockers or we can do the intake. I'm going to do the intake first. So, let's see here. Um, I think they're 9 sixteenths. Yeah. And because I know what their torque spec was, or about what it was, we can just use the steely here. not the impact is because I lost a lot of my impacts. I don't know where they are. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we got um sorry, my work is texting me. Um so we're gonna bag and tag all these bolts. So this one is intake. Here comes the fun part, just cracking it off. Got a better flat head.
I won't make you guys watch me getting this off, but we're gonna tap it with a little flat head until we crack the intake off. All right, intake is cracked. Just set it there because I gotta wash it again. I should really put my gloves on for this because that pan, the valley gasket, is pretty uh pretty sharp. There's our intake here. Let's start with here. I'll tell you what, these OEM um It looks really good in this engine right now. It's very clean. So that's good. Okay, so now take these rockers off. I like to lay these down in the order I take them out. And on my table, I just act as if uh, the front of the engine is in front of me on my table. So on the table there, I'll have everything set up right and left side. The push rods for right now. The other side.
It was supposed to be like 75 and it's all cold today. This is the back left one. That. The front left one. Okay, now I'm going to take the push rods out and put them in this bag so they stay clean. So now I'm going to use my magnet to get all the lifters out. Hopefully they come up nicely. Pretty good shape. I like to leave them all oiled up. I will clean them before we put them back in and then put fresh oil on them. But when I put them in the bag, I like to leave the original oil just on there so they stay good. Okay, so now I'm going to crack all of the head studs. Um, and what I'm gonna use for that is an actual socket here. And I don't have a breaker bar, so I'll just be using this guy. But um, the torque spec is pretty high on these. It's like 160 foot-pounds or something. So I know that they're going to be on there pretty tight.
and I'm gonna do the rest of the camera here. All right, I ended up just using the impact gun. Usually I do like to use a breaker bar just because I feel it's safer. You have less chance to strip out the bolts. But um, I tried one with the impact and it worked great. You know, as long as you have the right size socket and impact socket should be good. See all the coolant leaking out now that we've cracked it. Um, I'm gonna take the spark plugs out. I guess I could just do that later. I don't know. I have to tap it to get the gasket to crack. Okay, I got enough room on my table for this. This is the right side. Are nasty. Damn. All right, let me get the second side. All right, now we're taking the Oil pan off. Just got all the bolts off tight here.
red and orange. Come on. Okay, there's all the oil pan screws. Out pretty good everything looks really clean in there which is good um, we just got to clean some of that old gasket off but everything's really clean the cam I don't see any like wear other than standard but um pretty happy with how everything looks yeah this all looks really good a couple drops of water got in there from when i was power washing it but uh that'll all be dried out and plus i gotta take all these pistons out to replace the rings and i'll have everything nice and clean but like i said this is all gonna stay the crank is gonna stay the cam is gonna stay in there that's all that's all good the oil pump's gonna stay all these freeze plugs were changed before <clears throat> Uh, so yeah, the only thing I might have to do is, um, actually I will have to do it now that I am looking, is take this off because I won't be able to spin the motor because it hits those damn bolts and I forgot about that. So what I'll probably do is loosen these up, put some spacers in right here. I'll use the jack to, uh, the lift to hold the engine up while I do that so I can take this off I freaking forgot I always forget this part because now like I said can't spin the motor even if you, it's not just because it's hitting it's because the bolts will hit so I got to be able to spin the motor over to get to all the bolts so I guess that's what I'm doing next <clears throat> okay I'm going to finish um, and start taking out I'm going to take out the pistons now I'm going to put some mechanic gloves on I have my thick ones that I've been wearing but these are a little bit better for this I wear those grease monkey ones and they're pretty nice but when you're getting in there the engine you got to put the medical gloves on especially when you're building the motor for taking it apart not as much but I just want to keep my hands clean when I take these take these pistons out here we're gonna do one at a time and we have bags um, let's see where's number one we have bags that are going to be labeled for the hardware and 
all that good stuff. First piston out. And just do it very carefully. Take our rod cap here, and I'm going to put this back on. Actually, no, what? This might be. Instead of using the bags, I actually might just clip these all back together. Because you want to keep your all your rod caps and bearings in the same spot. So I think I'm gonna do it just like that. So there's one. And I'm going to do the rest. I guess we'll just time lapse it. pistons are out now I need to clean off some of this old gasket maker here uh, most of the oil pan gasket should come off nicely yeah I need to bring my trash can over here but I gotta clean this up oh thank god this came off nice everything's looking really good I am pretty happy so far now's the not fun part where we have to clean everything make sure it's nice and clean for the rebuild this is oil that leaked off of those pistons I was holding um, I already degreased the whole engine with the degreaser it soaked power washed it right now um, so now I got to clean this oil that I just let fall on there. The cylinder face right here is really nice and clean, so it doesn't need too much cleaning. Um, but the gasket on the heads needs a good cleaning. For the intake, we got to get all this off. And on the underside, the head gasket needs to get off. The exhaust port, we need to clean off. The valve cover gasket, some of it's stuck on there. And we got to put our new rings on. But I'm actually pretty impressed with how everything else is. That was the one thing I was scared of when I was going to take this apart is like, yeah, we built it. it we've maybe put 2,000 miles on this car, on this motor since the rebuild. It's been running great except for the piston ring blow by. So that's why I really wanted to do this. I took the transmission to the shop in the back of the Lexus. That was fun. And um, so it's at the shop getting all new seals, getting everything. New O-rings, new seals. That transmission was running great, shifts great. 
So doesn't need a rebuild, just needs all the seals because it was leaking horrible. So now I think I'm going to finish the video here. You guys pretty much saw the whole teardown. Now, like I said, we're not taking the crank out or the cam or any of the timing chain stuff, harmonic balancer, oil pump. All this stuff is still good. Water pump. No need to take any of that off because we're just doing the rings. Everything else has been great. Uh, the rear main seal has been great. hasn't really leaked at all. The main seal up front hasn't leaked at all. So, so here's what we got. Um, I need to clean this out and, and clean that up. That's the, the oil pan. That needs a good cleaning. Um, the thing that needs the biggest cleaning are going to be these heads. Just for the three different seals on them. Uh, I'm going to clean up these valve covers real good. I'm going to repaint all these brackets, pulleys, fan. Um, so that's what I'm going to do the rest of the day. That's kind of boring. So I'm not going to bring you guys on the ride for that one. Uh, here's the gasket kits. Here's our new piston rings. We went with engine techs this time. Before we were using Hastings. Uh, I don't really have a preference at all. This is actually the first time I've used engine tech, but it's what I could get. Um, sometimes 472s, 500s, the parts are kind of hard to find. Um, so they, Hastings was all out from the suppliers that I go to, but engine techs are what they had and they were cheaper. So I said, what the hell, let's do it. So I'm going to crack open this old gasket kit to see what I have left, left over. Here's the number. In case you guys need to rebuild a 472. I get, I order these. They're Felpro. They're really good. I've never had a problem with leaks on these things. So, um, Felpro and I order them through O'Reilly's in store. It usually takes a couple days to get it. So we'll see you guys in the next part when we do the assembly and the painting. And then we'll do a part, another part um, where we will drop the motor and get this thing running and go for a little cruise after.